Hello and good morning and uh, welcome to a puzzle by Wipsidoko.com, an evil level puzzle as usual. It uh, has uh, quite a lot of givens, but that's not always a sign that it is going to be easy. So let's see how this turns out. There's a one here and here blocking over here and uh, two ones coming up blocking like so, so this must be a one. There's a three coming up here and there's a three coming over here, so this is a three. And uh, we have a um, kind of New York Times pattern here. We have a three eight here and a three eight here. They guarantee that these two squares must be a three and an eight. And the two and a four here block here. So these must be a two and a four now. And that makes these three squares a seven, nine, and a six. This still must be a six, of course, because these two are blocked by the ghost three and eight. So this is a six. And now we are looking at a seven, nine, and a five for these three here. We also have a five, seven here and a five, seven. I wonder if that means anything. Well, it would mean something if the five were here, but it's not. But we know that these must be a seven and a nine because these are twos and fours, right? And we have a one blocking down here and a one blocking over here, making one of these a one. And that means that we effectively have blocked all of these from being ones. And we also have a one here and here blocking these. So this must be a one. And there's a three to be found and it needs to go here. And I'll explain why, because one of these must be a three. Therefore, one of these can't be a three. We have a three and a three here blocking these two squares. And we have this three blocking this square. So this is a three. I don't think I finished my thought process before because I said that these are a seven and a nine and we have a seven already blocking this cell, so this must be a nine and this must be a seven. And now we got the seven blocking here and the seven blocking over here and the seven blocking here, this seven here, so this is a seven. And that makes one of these a seven along with one of these here and one of these must be a seven. You know, these two must be a two and a four. I can't do much with that little bit of information. But I know that the three and a four here and the three and the four here will put a three and a four in two of these three squares. I'm noticing the five blocking here and the five blocking here. So one of these here must be a five. And we also have a seven in the same two columns, namely columns seven and nine. And we have a five and a seven here. So these two cells must be a five and a seven in some order. 
And since these two are a three and an eight, and we have a nine coming up here, then one of these two must be a nine. And therefore this square must be a nine. And I believe that makes this a one, doesn't it? We got a one coming up here, we got a one coming over here and one down here. Yes, th this is a one. And that makes this a one. And now we got the six coming over here and the six coming down here. So this square or this square must be a six. Or we got this, oh, hang on. We got the six uh, blocking here and the six blocking down here. So this is a six. And now one of these two must be a six. So hang on, we said that one of these must be a five because we have this five here, but the other one must be an eight because one of these is an eight, right? And therefore none of these can be an eight. So we've got a five and an eight pair here, making these a two and a four, nice. Making these a two and a four. So two and a four, five and a seven, three and an eight. We're still missing a nine, which has to go here or here. And the last digit, of course, must be a six. Yes, and there's a six here. So this cell must be a six. And this must be a nine making one of these a nine. So now we know for sure that a two and a four will have to go into two of these three squares. And the two others must be a three and an eight. We have a three and an eight here and we have a three and an eight here. And we have a three and an eight here, so um, I don't think that this square will be a three or an eight, but we'll just have to wait and see. But this square can't be a five because of this five, and these two squares can't be fives because of these two fives. So this is a five. That much is certain. And now this square can't be a nine because of the nine here. This square can't be a nine because of this nine here, so this must be a nine. Let's see what that does to the nines. Yes, we're blocking nines over here and nine over here, making this a nine. And that makes this a nine as well. And a nine goes over here now and therefore up here. And that's it for the nines. These two now have to be a five and a seven. And these are fives and seven, as we recall from earlier, these are still twos and fours, twos and fours and eights and threes. There is a certain lack of twos, fours and eights in this grid. There must be a two here or here, and here, here, and here, 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 and here. Lots of places where twos can go. Of course, this can just be a two and a four. And that means that one of these must be an eight. And hang on. One of these is an eight, right? Oh, you've got an eight. So one of these must be an eight. So two, six and eight here. Two, eight. No, if I could get another six, I would be happy. But we do have a six and a seven and a six and a seven. So six and sevens must go in two of these squares. So one of these here must be a seven and one of these must be a six. 
And we know that a three and a four must go in. This is um, a puzzle. Well, it is a puzzle. It is, it is a Sudoku puzzle. But let's see if we can get something out of nothing here. Let me first put in the fives and the eight here because we got the five blocking over here and we got five here or here. And therefore this must be a five and we remember that the other one was an eight, right? And now, ah yes, so oh, yes. Now an eight is blocking over here, making one of these an eight and it can't be here because of this eight. So this is an eight and now the eight blocks over here and this eight blocks over here and the eight blocks down here. So this is an eight. And this was a two four, right? So here and yes. So this is a two and a six. And one of these must be an eight now. So let me quickly recap. This is a 3 8, 3 8, 3 8, and this is probably not a 3 8, but I'm not going to delve into that. 2 4 here, 2 4 here, 5 7 here. But we got all the, not all the fives. No, I still have a possible five here, 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 and here. Oh, but hang on, we can do something here. I think we could need to find a two, four, and an eight for these three cells. And there's a two and an eight here, very convenient. That makes this a four. And that's now a two and an eight, and this is a two and an eight. And we know that one of these must be a three. So we got a two, four coming down here making, and we got a four coming over here. So th this is a fork candidate and this is a two. No, I'm not seeing that. But we do need a two, three, four and an eight for these four cells. There's a two, eight, and a four here. So this must be a three, making this a three. And therefore this cannot be a three, eight. It must be an eight, and this must be an eight, and this must be a three, if I've done this correctly. And I hope I have, because I think it feels like a lot of work today. This must be a four now, and this must be a two, making this an eight. And this, therefore must be a two, making this a four and this a two, and now this must be a two. The four must go here and the six here, making this a two and this a two. This cannot be a seven, therefore it must be a six and this must be a seven, making this a seven and this a five. Now we got the five here and the seven here. From here on, it's pretty simple. This is a four and this is a two. These are still a two, four, but now we have the four up here, right? So this is a two and this is a four. The eight must go here and the four here. These two guys have to be a five and a six. So the six goes here and the five here. I rather like this puzzle. Of course, the, the last uh, few digits were very easy, but we needed to crack this box down here before we could finalize the puzzle. Thank you for watching and uh, bye for now.